We are ready here, people. Rob Feeney is joining us. He's brought his wine. We're going to be making some food. How are you, Feeney? I'm fantastic. Yeah, well, let's start with the wine. It's, this is a, this we, is now have, we now have a Feeney's blend made in red by Le Pen. Uh, it's actually just officially got released at Cactus mm. Club today, so we had we already had the white. Yeah. Now we have a red, so this is uh, I'm so it's so much. And fun. this is a fun blend too. It's yeah. This is this is uh, Merlot. It's got Cabernet uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, yeah. and some Mavedra in it. And it's uh, that is fun to have your own wine. Well, I mean, that is fun. Well, well yeah. Did you yes. describe like <laughs> Thank I had you, to Sam. work with them? Did you sort of say you know I want the bigness of a Cabernet but a little softer? Or yeah, did we did. And like, like like there's so many great things going on in the Okanagan, and it was yeah. like this. The cool thing that makes sense with uh, Le Pen is they're right down sort of. In Oliver and these particular grapes come from Asuyas and my parents had their honeymoon there in 1955. Aww. Aww. I see. You're such a big softie. Yes and so this is a great story so it's like this we That's were nice. going up there every year since well not me since 55. <laughs> I'm a little younger than that. <laughs> a little bit. And, a little bit. Uh, yeah. Now so, let's get to the gnocchi. Okay. You are making a special recipe that you first tried in Italy. Tell us about this delicious uh, little thing we're gonna make. Well we're gonna make uh, a lot of the recipes I'm, I'm trying to show up at home are real, you know, some, like, some of them are a little more complicated, but also a little more fun, simple. So we're going to do something that is simple, but is going to take a little bit of work. And these are ricotta gnocchis okay. with a very simple tomato sauce. So let me just, with the tomato sauce, let's do that first, and we'll go back. Okay. I just want to show everyone at home. Now, tomato sauces, of course, there's a million different ways to make them. You yes. can simmer them for hours and hours yes. and make them like mama made, yes. or you can do something that takes a couple minutes. Yeah, what That's, I usually do is I, I grab the can the and I twist <laughs> and then... What now, is this sauce all about? This is, this is, for me, this is real simple. My wife and I make this at home probably uh, five or six times a week just because of how simple it is and how easy it is. So if you're looking to make a really simple pasta for your kids, mm -hmm. this uh, is the way to and go. This is, and you want to make a sauce that is done in less than five minutes, this is how you do it. So Beautiful. we just have a little bit of olive oil, and you know, when I say a little bit, a little you bit to me means a lot. <laughs> <It> means, <laughs> yeah. but a quarter really cup, good somewhere for around you. there. And, and this is just basil that I've shredded, right? Basil. That goes in. And what this does is it flavors the oil, right? So this is how quick this is. That goes in. Yeah. And we've got one can of plum tomatoes, right? And we just roughly squish them. Just the toma tomatoes? That's it? That's just, so I, all I, yeah, all we did, I took one can, uh -huh. took them with my hand, I sort of, because I, I didn't want to do it now. Didn't want to, and I didn't want to get it all over that beautiful no, dress. No, thank you, don't. And uh, <laughs> so, no, I just, you, you just mush them with your hands a little bit. We've got them in here. We're going to take a little bit I of, I like doing uh, that because it's like a horror movie. Once again, Feeney's <laughs> little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. Yes. <laughs> salt okay. is muy importante. And then we stir this around, right? And I, the magic of television, Da, 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 da. It's like you do this for uh, you let this simmer for about five ten minutes. Yeah. And then what you have, I'm just going to switch pans out. You have oh, this beautiful. beautiful, simple tomato sauce, very nice. light, right? Thickens very really fresh. Quickly as it's going okay. And, and what a great it. summer sauce too, because it's not super heavy. No, this is not. This is. And you know what? You can also use this for what? as a pizza sauce. Oh, brilliant! Good so call. if you reduce it down a little bit more, you can actually use yep. it as a pizza sauce. And we're going to make the gnocchi. I have never made gnocchi. I Scared of it. Okay, usually well, I don't want to get you again. I don't want to get you dirty. No, I okay. do it. Traditionally, okay. it's potato, right? Yeah. It? Traditionally, traditionally, it's potato. Well, the reason why I like using the ricotta is because mm. you get. You're going to see when I, when we cook them for you. You get this wonderfully light, um, uh, like, like this airy. Uh, I'll take pillow. care of that. You I'll turn that. it down. Well, the sauce the is already done. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass the sauce over to you. I'm going to multitask. Yeah, that will okay. me. <laughs> sauce over on your side because the sauce is ready. So okay. let's leave okay. that there. So don't do spell that sauce and watch out for that. No, dress. you can get high fat or low fat ricotta. <laughs> low fat ricotta, absolutely. Uh, you, also, you also get raw milk, which gives you a little bit more flavor and as, as but fat too. Mm -hmm. So we just have the regular ricotta. But with so, this ricotta, what, we, what I did is kind of like my raviolis. What I did is I overnight we let some of the liquid come out. Okay. You're just going to add a couple eggs. Eggs help it, help it bound, right? So just mix those eggs in with the with the wooden spoon spatula, is it whatever. Just the yolks you put in there. Just or? the yolks, right? We're going to season it with a little bit of pepper. It must okay. be yolk. Okay. <laughs> A little bit, I'm sorry, a little bit of salt. Yeah, yeah, no, that's this all I got. Entire step yeah. segment. Go back to drinking the wine. Okay. Thank you. And while you're doing that, <laughs> yeah. just while I hide these, don't look at that. No, oh, don't. You can't it, see. Oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> everyone saw those. Okay, and then we're going to put a little bit of Parmesan cheese in. Okay, this is all weighed out. Just, you know, you have this cheese. recipe at home. We're not cheating. And then you're going to put a little bit of flour in now. And you can use whole wheat flour yeah. if you want to. Yeah, so essentially, this is that's the base for the ricotta. So you okay. see how soft it is? Yeah. Okay, so you're going to mix this, like I said. At Rob, home. I can tell you want to kind of get your hands in there, don't you? I mean, yeah, I can, I, can I go I with my hands? Is that how you I do, do it? Yeah, if Shaft? I got my hands, yes. Okay. No, 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 don't. Uh, don't. Oh, I, don't no, want no, you, no. I don't want you to get messy. Ah. He's worried about your dress. I, I know, so am I. So I'm little, <laughs> but all, but, at, but at, at this stage at home, what you can do actually is just, you know, sort of bring it together, bind it, and put it away in the fridge. Okay. Let it sit for a good hour. Let it get a bit harder because unlike potato gnocchi, Okay, these ones here. I'm just gonna. I gotta start putting some in because we need okay. to get eating here. Okay, see how soft they are. Oh yeah, okay. they're really. But like these have been in the freezer. 
Right, so and so did you just roll these out and then cut them up and that's all you did? I made these today for you, for you lovely people. Thank okay. you. Oh, I did. And uh, no, but what I like about these I'm make this is is after you put it in the fridge, that mix you just made, yeah. let it sit in it, and basically it's gonna condense a bit, it's gonna be easier to roll. Then get a nice little table, get some flour out, and you just roll them out really gently into very roll long, up. very, very long Feenies weenies. <laughs> get him, get him. Really? Hot dogs, that is. <laughs> get him, get him Hot dog shape. <laughs> yep. Just to gotcha. I'm not familiar okay. with that shape. And yeah. then do you cut them up right away? And, and you put these in the freezer. And then you, um, <laughs> and I threw myself off. Said, <laughs> and threw you myself distracted off. yourself. Okay, so but you make them into like these. Okay, they, they come into this shape, right? And then what you do is. <laughs> I like how it's a reenactment. <laughs> okay. No. And then like where were scene. you when the crime occurred? <laughs> and then just get a little. You know, all you do is you get a little bit of a knife and, and then cut them down. And then you're going to use a little bit of flour. And then you just pinch them. Have a little uh, like a, cook, a baking sheet ready, yeah. right? Just yeah. That's good. I'm going. I'll do it. Okay. And then. Once you do that, then you're ready to go, right? So and you don't have to cook these for very yeah, long. Nokia, very no, the quick, Nokia's right? these like, will take these will take literally like a minute. They're going to come to the surface, okay. and then we're going to plate them. Okay. And this is why I like them because, like I said, originally my wife and I had them. Am I talking too fast? No. no. My wife and I had. Um, uh, woo. And uh, <laughs> am I talking too slow? <laughs> what did your wife you have in we're, where? We're, we're in Capri, <laughs> and it's like we're, Capri, as you know, is probably one of the most touristy places in all, 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 all in Italy, just uh, off the coast of but Naples. But have some limoncello, and you'll forget about it. Well, forget. we were on. Um, Many things at that day, uh, and we were just walking up this hill, and we found this kind of spot, and I'm like, oh great, we got this. Like, we walk in, and we had a ricotta ravioli and ricotta gnocchis with this tomato sauce, and to, to this day, my wife and I still talk about it being like one of the most wonderful passes we've ever just had. Just simple. So nice. this is this is where we're going back. So That's why they named a car after here. We're almost here. No, it's okay. I, we're gonna. I'm gonna. What I can do because this is really hot. I don't want you to get. Hot. Watch I'm your dress, watch, Fiona. You put on Fiona. a nice dress, and all of a sudden you don't have to do anything. Fiona, watch your dress. Okay, so I'll what I'm going to do, I'm going to plate. We're going to plate just a few here. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to let Michael. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, I'm not here to work, buddy. Okay, then I'll do it. Okay, don't no, relax. No, relax. No, <laughs> Actually, you know what? Ha have some wine. Yeah, okay. yeah. He's been doing that. Okay, so let's just plate, plate this one. I've been tasting. I can't sauce because of okay. my dress, Michael. Help, Mr. Feeney. I got, I got, I got. You guys relax. Drink some wine. Okay. <laughs> Chill. Relax. Never, never rush to relax. Okay. And oh, then, then we're gonna lovely. take a little bit of this tomato sauce on it the top. Smells so good. Nice, simple tomato sauce. Like I said, that goes on the top. And formaggio. Formaggio. Oh, no, no, no. That's, we're gonna use that no, one. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, Don't no, no. Be Come on. What are you thinking? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. wait a minute, dear. Yeah. Salty again. That's uh, my, small, my small version of uh, the time, okay? Okay. Then we're going to take a little bit of grated par Reggio uh, Parmigiano, Parmigiano, mm -hmm. sorry, on the top. Mm. Okay. We're going to take a little bit of olive oil again, okay, just around the, around the. And like I said, very, very simple dish. And that olive oil will just give it a little bit of extra flavor. Yeah, so I'm going to pass this on. You guys can go in and put another you. plate. Fiona, you go ahead and try it, and I'll block your dress. <laughs> okay, okay, go ahead. For a copy of Rob's recipe, you can email us, urbanrush at shaw.ca, so you can make your own delicious gnocchi at home. Where did, did we use the lemon zest? Did I miss that part? Yeah, we did. There was lemon zest inside the gnocchi. In the gnocchi. Yeah, oh, in the gnocchi. When we were reenacting. How's Rob was worried I about you getting it on your dress. So. <laughs> okay. yeah, I was worried about it getting everything on your dress. We're going to take a break, and when we return, trial rider Ryan Leach will be joining us.